guys. Okay, we are going to finally, finally do a swatch of the Color Blend by Spectrum Noir. This is the shade and tone set. So these are, I got these from Tuesday morning, so. These are the Color Blend by Spectrum Noir shade and tone, like I said. We're going to do a swatch of them. It's a 24 set. And like um, I said in the haul, um, the reason that I bought these was because they had a lot of browns. Um, and I'm always needing browns for wood and, you know, tree bark and all that kind of stuff. So the more browns that I can get in a set, you know, the better I feel like. And, you know, you can always use them with your other pencils. So these are a um, maroon barrel, um, nice clear uh, gold writing on them. It's very, very easy to read. So this one is night sky. They don't have colors, but I mean, sorry, they don't have name. What? Whoa. Numbers, but they do have colors on them, so... Um, yeah, you're getting names rather than just numbers. This is a very pretty color. Sorry for all the sniffles, guys. In Georgia, it was warm for a nice, you know, week. And now it's just raining, and it stayed like 48 degrees today, and just rain, rain, rain. And it's supposed to rain for like the next couple days also. Reef blue is very pretty. So, yeah. I, how is everybody else's weather? I feel like a lot of people are still in the colds. <laughs> and, of course, you know... In the south, it gets warm real quick, but um, it's supposed to um, be warm, but the fact that there's rain is making it where it is not warm. So, um, that's just, that is once pretty, I don't want to say sucky, but kind of thing. So, hopefully it'll start getting back warm again like today it was you know projected supposed to be in the 60s and then it never made it past 48 like i was like uh that makes no dang sense so okie dokie if you guys are able to find these pencils I would recommend them, um, especially if there's there's some, because this set has really pretty earthy tones in it. So you're getting like your blues, your um, uh, 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 browns, and some grays. So, you know, if you can grab that one, I would highly, highly recommend this set for that. Um... You know, even your color by number books, it you know, they re they um, ask for a lot of blues. You know, there's a lot of uh, blues that are needed for them. So, you know, rather than using up a marker, you could always use a pencil. A violet pearl. That's an interesting color. Let's see what we got here. Um, let's, okay, it's like a light purple. Alright, we have, some of these I can't pronounce. Yeah, uh-huh. Alright, purple. This is a purple, purple. And 
that is Anamon. Mm -hmm. Never heard of that color before. Sea urchin. Hee hee. Okay. Sea urchin is the name of this color, and it's purple. We're getting some good purples in here, too, guys. It's pretty, pretty purples. So, um, that'd be, this reminds me of Ursula, <laughs> since it's named Sea Urchin and it's a purple. That's like an Ursula color. <clears throat> this one is Deep Purple. Okay, that's an easy, easy color. <laughs> deep Purple. I'm a messy swatcher, so I'm sorry, guys. I hope that you're able to see these colors nicely, though. Deep purple. I like that one. Nice dark purple. Okay. Sangria. Oh, that's a deep, deep red brown. Red brown. Yeah. I'm like a mahogany sort of color. Yeah, definitely. Sangria. That's definitely a mahogany type of color. This one's called Coffee Bean. Coffee Bean. Okay, let me... Brown. Deep, deep brown. Definitely a good description of it. Coffee Bean. Okay, next color is... Spice brown. Spice brown. Lots and lots of browns that I like. Okay. Spice brown. Spice brown. Driftwood. Again, like I said, brown, brown, browns. Bios. Okay. Driftwood. Okay. What is this one? Is this a greeny color? No. Havana. Havana. Okay, it kind of looked green on there. It's a brown. Okay, it does have like an olive undertone to this. So that's a pretty interesting color. Havana. Havana. Passion fruit. Okay. Passion fruit. Okay. Oyster. Okay, that would that's an interesting color. That's not what I was expecting it to be. It's similar to driftwood. I mean to Havana. It's just not as dark. Coconut, coconut, okay, okie dokie, coconut, coconut, timberwood, yep, so we're going to go to timberwood. I hope you guys are enjoying the swatch. Yeah, I actually really like these pencils. They are, you know, I would say they're like between a Prismacolor and a um, Polychromos. Um, like it would be a good middle one um, because I don't think they're as hard as Polychromos are though. So I do think that these are in between in between, in between, in between. 
Um, definitely softer than like your regular Crayolas or my Pagos. Um, but, you know, I do think that these are definitely something I'm going to use. Because they are, you know, soft. Um, oh, wow. I didn't realize I'm doing this swatch pretty dang fast. Um, okay, what is this color? Pebble? Yeah, that's a nice gray. All right. We have... Sorry if you guys can catch my hair in the camera. Good Lord. Okay, this one is Storm Cloud. So let's see. Okay. Good medium gray. That's a good medium gray. Storm Cloud. And your last color is Rock Pool. I have a feeling this is a dark gray. It is. Yes. So this is your dark gray. And it is, well, darker gray. It is called Rock Pool. So. Okay. Rock Pool. So that is all the colors you get in here. So you got some purples, some blue, well, some blues, some purples, um, some, a red brown, a couple red browns, some browns. This passion fruit's like in a random place. Browns, grays. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this swatch of the color blend by Spectrum Noir, your shade and tone. So what you would look for is for the dolphin and for it to say shade and tone on there. Um, if I can score some more of these, I'll definitely do more videos. But um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.